What's up everybody, it's Big Paul. So recently, I'm gonna tell you guys about a little, you know, we're in the month of October, so I'm gonna tell you guys about some scary stuff that's kinda, more recently it's happened, you know. I got asked to kinda share about a scary experience. I wouldn't call it scary as much as I would call it kind of uh, unsettling, right? So I live in a house, I have roommates, and for, I'd say like a month, we were sitting here, me and my roommate, and we're sitting here and like 12 midnight rolled around, we're having a conversation and I look over my shoulder and I look back at him. He's like, why'd you just turn around? I was like, oh, well, no reason. He's like, you saw that too, right? So I was like, well, what'd you see? So, well, I saw somebody run across. I was like, yes, okay. So I wasn't tripping. So I did too. Fast forward about a month. We start hearing what sounds like a banging, a door banging. Right, so we go all around the house. We check the air vents. We're looking at all the cupboard doors. Can't find it. All of a sudden, you know, as time goes on, we, uh, me and him both simultaneously, along with like two two other of our roommates, simultaneously start waking up about 3 a.m. Right, and for everybody that follows, this, you know, the spiritual stuff, they say that's dead hour. Um, pretty sure that's what they call it. And so we're all waking up at like 3, 3.15, 3.30. And this happened for like two to three weeks at a time, right? So a couple of the guys that live with us, we started going through like a really strain of bad luck, right? Um, I was in transition with my job. Um, same with my same with my roommate and like two of our other roommates. One of our roommates got jumped and got put in the hospital and his jaw was broken. Um, just like a, a real bad series of events, right? And we're sitting here and like, we kind of start piecing all this stuff together. And so my roommate called on one of his friends who does like, like what was it, the, the tarot card readings or whatever. Um, and she's like really kind of spiritually in tune with a lot of stuff. And she goes on to tell us like, hey, there's something that's trying to attach to you in that house. So one night we're sitting here, we're, fi we're filming a video. We were going over some stuff in the pad. We're filming a video and we see all these orbs right going through the camera and then um we send the video to his friend and just to find out that she goes and highlights at the corner of the video this black mass of a figure that is in the mirror mind you we're still tripped out right like i tried to sleep in my room one night and i'm sitting there and like i'm tossing and turning i can't get comfortable i come downstairs like the rest of my roommates are already like knocked out on the couch and there's a lot of weird stuff happening so more recently i'm like hey i haven't really heard the sound lately and my roommate's like yeah but i still feel uneasy so um his uh his niece and nephew were here so we're sitting there and you know we're playing we're playing uh call of duty downstairs and his niece, his, his nephew was like, hey, I'm gonna go knock out. So we're like, yeah, 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 you know, go up to the room, whatever. And so I unlocked the door, right? I unlocked the door of the room to go let him knock out. And he's like, I don't wanna sleep in there. It doesn't feel good in there. It feels weird in there. And so fast forward, his niece ends up telling us the same thing. She's like, I don't wanna sleep in that room. That room feels very dark. It feels scary in there. And, um, so we end up for like the past few months kind of uh we got we got advised to to give us a cleansing you know shout out to the honey she says this house needs to be cleansed um and uh more often than not we kind of see things out of the corner of our eye and then um so my roommate who i, I won't i won't name his name but he had a dream about uh uh, about the uh, the previous owner. One night he had a dream about the previous owner and the the letters AA came out like that's what this lady presented in his dream. So come to find out that the previous owner's um, middle initial and last name were like A Armstrong or something like that. And Apparently this house was like sold under like really specific circumstances um, because some stuff had happened here and uh, it just uh, It's been kind of messing with us, but uh, very minimal sleep Very sketchy stuff 
Um, picture up here. Yeah, yeah. So, so what my roommate is talking about right now is, um, my guy told him when we we, we, had, we were doing we were filming a video in here, and uh, his friend ended up noticing once we sent her the video, ended up noticing that there was a huge black mass towards the right corner of the picture, and she drew it out and she drew out the figure. But um, yeah, it was uh um, they believe it to be a female presence. His friend believes it to be a female presence. Um, and in the room, more and more recently, um, so so if you hear the story that he's telling right now, um, his girl's daughter was knocked out in the room. And, yeah, yeah. So she she was there was there's two beds in the room, right? So they're on one bed, he's on the other bed. The, him and his lady are on one bed, the daughter's sleeping on the other bed, and um, so he uh. He thought his daughter's lady was like messing with him, trying to like fuck with his phone or whatever. And uh, no, we thought I thought that I don't know what it was. I bet she got up and, and like, you know, when, when somebody sits on the oh, yeah, okay, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let's rewind. So he thought she was he, he thought his lady's daughter was messing with them sitting on the side of the bed, but he's like, hey, stop messing around, go to sleep. She's like, what do you mean? I'm on the other side of the bed. She's like, I'm on the other bed, I'm not messing with you. And uh, I'm not with the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my roommate, my roommate ends up shining the light towards the bed, and she was laying on the bed the whole time. And yeah, so, so whatever spirit, whatever was going on in the room, he felt the spirit, whatever you want to call it, sit down on the bed at the corner of the bed, kind of pressed down, like you know when you feel a mattress compress. But not to jump around too much, his friend had ended up telling us that whatever spirit is in this house is not really a spirit. It's that uh, that D word, you know. Um, it's a demon, right? So I'm sitting here and I'm like tripping because like I'm having a little strain of bad luck going on in my in my life, and I'm like, man, maybe this all correlates, right? Everybody like for a couple weeks is in like a super bad mood, and it just all around. I started feeling like super par not so much paranoid, but just very uneasy coming home and um, just super, super dark presence. So that is uh, that's kind of our experience. It is still ongoing currently, but um, I want to hear some of your guys' scary stories. My roommates are going to throw some in as well. Honey, I appreciate you. Big shout out to Make It Changes. Um, and y'all enjoy the rest of your October. Let's hear some spooky shit.